Hi, um, chicas and chicos. My name is Tommy Grant. I'm a senior division leader here with Park Lane Jewelry, and I just wanted to talk. I'm just going to talk to you guys for a few minutes about uh, the programs and to just share my story. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. Uh, the first thing I would like to ask is that if you are, are on live, please put live or just say hello. And if you watch this late on a replay, please say um, replay. So I wrote a couple of notes to keep myself on task. Uh, and I'm going to talk about our programs, do it a little bit different to respect your time. I'm going to talk about our programs as I share uh, my story with you guys. So again, I'm Thomasina Grant. I go by Tommy, simply Tommy. And I'm a senior div division leader here with Park Lane Jewelry. I've been with the company for three years. I am retired uh, military veteran. And I am a mother of one who's now an empty nester. So my son, he is in college now, a freshman in college. So this is what I do full time. And I did not get here instantly. So that's where I want to share my story. Uh, I've been with Park Lane for three years. And I first got invited by a really good friend who was having a party. And she invited me to to be participate in her party. And this was during COVID. A lot of things happened during COVID, right? And I told her, sure, okay. And I didn't go to a party. I did not. <laughs> I didn't even look at it, never even went on Facebook Live. Later, that same friend messaged me and said, hey, are you going to place an order in my party? And I said, oh, girl, yeah, I'll place an order. And so I did. I picked something. I might have did any, mini miny, mo. Don't even know how I did it. I picked something just to say I supported my friend and didn't think any more about it. But later when the jewelry arrived, I was like, oh, I forgot I ordered this. I saw it and I fell in love with it. I did. I thought this was really cool. And the stylist who was over that party and later became my mentor, she'd reached out to see if I'd gotten my stuff. And I was like, yeah, I did. And I was telling her how much I liked it. And I was thinking about retiring from the military. So let me know if she had another party and I would, you know, participate in that. And later I did participate in another party and my, it actually showed up for this one. My wish list was so long that uh, my mentor ended up saying, Hey, yeah, you need to host your own party. So I hosted my own party, had so much fun. It was during a time when I was my busiest. I had, um, there was a lot of things that were happening on my job. There were a lot of things on me. And I ended up hosting a party during that time because it ended up being fun. I connected with a lot of people and a lot of friends. And so my mentor was like, girl, you need to be doing this. You had way too much fun and you seem to have a knack for this. And uh, I've never let me let me go back and tell you, I've never done anything like this in my life. I've maybe when I was a Girl Scout. Uh, no, I don't even think I was a Girl Scout. I might have been a not a Cub Scout, a brownie. I might have been a brownie. So I've I've never like done sales in my mind. It was like, oh well, I'm I'm no, that's not for me. But because of the season I was in in my life, and I had such a good time doing this, I ended up saying yes. Something that had she asked me before, I probably would have said no, no, no. I ended up saying yes. And I said yes at my busiest time because this ended up not feeling like um, not feeling like it was it was work. It was actually something that I needed. It was therapeutic for me. So it was a side hustle. It was a yeah, I, I, I like this. And this is something that I that I want to do right now. Plus, I knew that I would be retiring within a year. And I thought this is a great way for me to get some jewelry and just to have fun. And uh, in the military, normally when you retire, we call it a first retirement. I knew I would be retiring, but I knew I would be getting another job. And I was not a jewelry girl. Nope. Of course, I wasn't a jewelry girl. Never wore any of it because we, we couldn't. Right. So um, 90 
5%, 90% of the time I was in a uniform, so I couldn't. But I was like, oh, I'll need this when I have my civilian attire. So that's what I did. That is totally how I looked at it as a way for me to have fun, maybe get a little pocket money. And let's talk about one of the programs that we have, and that is the compensation plan. So I started as a fashion director and it was at 30%. I didn't know any different. I It wasn't until later I learned that that's amazing to be commissioned at 30%. Um, was It was awesome. I knew I was doing really well, right? So I ended up getting 30% as a um, brand new fashion director, never ever having done any of this in my life. But we also have the direct point program. That is, is that if you do come in with experience and you have actually worked or had teams before um, in direct sales, then you can come in at a higher level um, and actually be paid what you're comp be compensated on your experience, which is huge. It, that's amazing, right? Uh, but I came as a fashion director and I didn't stay a fashion director long. I ended up having fun. A friend saw how much fun I was having. It was like, cool, I'll do this with you. And that is what happened. I ended up uh, branching up or going to branch and I instantly went to 35%. Now, what I also love is, is that when you hit these levels, you never go down. Again, something that in other companies, apparently a lot of them, again, I didn't have this experience, but a lot of other companies every month you start back over at a um, lower commission level and then you have to level up based on how much, um, based on how much you sell. At Park Lane, you don't have to do any of that. It is you start at 30 percent or whatever, wherever you start, if you do direct a point and you just go up from there. The only time it changes is if you actually end up doing more. Right. Or you promote and then you never go down uh, from that. So I went to um, I went to branch during this time. I'm also working through getting ready to retire and. It was so stressful. This was such an outlet for me. Being able to do this and work this was amazing. It helped me during a time I truly needed it. So um, the other thing that I fell in love with is, is that I got so much free jewelry. <laughs> I got so much free jewelry. Um not just for myself, it helped me to actually work my business. I love the fact I learned that um, we didn't have to have quotas. That means that I was not required to sell a certain amount every month. Like that would have been a turnoff for me. I wouldn't have liked that. Right. So it wasn't. I, so there was no pressure in that. And I didn't have to keep an inventory. I didn't have to buy anything. Literally, the jewelry that I was showing to everyone is the jewelry that I was wearing every single day. Uh, and it was just so easy. Like I, I was meeting people out because they were like, oh, my gosh, that's a cute bracelet that you have on. And then I actually got to have and give, have conversations with people. Um and just show it to them. So it, it was easy and it was, or it was simple. I would say that it was totally simple. Um, and I just kind of kept building because I was having fun. Then I, I ended up getting area and that went to a 40% commission. I was like, this is crazy. Are you serious? Like just by bringing in more friends. And at that point, um, I'd met other people because I, when I started, I just reached out to my girlfriends and said, Hey, will you just host a party for me? Look, it'll be super easy. I just need to kind of get my feet wet, figure out what I'm doing. And they did. So all of us have those people who are going to work and do those things for us in our lives. So they did. And then I ended up meeting a lot more other people. Um, and they all fell in love with the jewelry. So it, it was just amazing. So I ended up making area and then I end, ended up getting the Mercedes car program. So that's another one of the programs that we have. And the Mercedes car program 
if you choose to do this, if you choose to build a team and actually go, because again, what I love about this company is that you can do as much as you want. Um, or the possibilities are endless. Looking at me, <laughs> the, I promise you the possibilities are endless. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, but I ended up doing uh, getting the Mercedes car program and I took the money because you can either get five hundred dollars um, in a bonus uh, when you meet the criteria criteria each month or you can get seven hundred dollars towards a leased vehicle um, towards a lease Mercedes. So I already have vehicles. I was like, yeah, this is cool that this will work for me. And then after that, I ended up um, earning a trip. So these are all things that I knew nothing about coming into this company. I came in wanting to just have fun. I was not even thinking about the money. It was fun. That was no kidding my why. And I will tell you this now because I want to be very transparent. Um, Right before my friend had her party or during that time, during that time frame, I was so busy. I was working like crazy, but I also had been um, diagnosed with PTSD. I'd been diagnosed with depression as well as anxiety. I have been on many deploy many deployments. Um, before my son was 10, I'd only been to three of his birthdays. I was gone most of his earlier life. Um, missed his second birthday. And then my son, he'd been diagnosed with autism as well. I had a lot of things that were bottled up. Uh, been multiple times to Afghanistan, Iraq. Um, so been in wars. Um, and I ended up losing both of my parents. I lost, uh, and it was within four months apart. So I had had a lot of things that were on me that I had not dealt with. And it was all kind of coming to a an head. Uh, and doing this became one of the best outlets that I ever had. So while I was having fun, I started getting all of these things like trips. My first trip I earned was to Aruba. And I've been blessed to earn every trip since being here in three years um, to Aruba, to Cone and I'm a, and I love to travel. I love to travel. So that was the one thing that I was going to miss being in the military and that was travel. So to realize that I was still going to get that opportunity to do that and do it on another company's dime. Oh, that was amazing. So I ended up earning uh, again to Aruba, to Kona, Hawaii, to Cabo. Um, we're getting ready to go to Paris and, um, uh, then we're going to Ireland. And right now we're working towards um, St. Thomas, Virgin Island. So, uh, and I've never been there. So I'm very excited uh, for all of this. So these were opportunities that I didn't even think about. And as I kept growing, not just in the company, I got closer to retirement. I ended up retiring. And then my why had to shift a bit because then at being a retired military member, our uh, my retirement was a third of my income. <laughs> I went down to a third of my income. So then I really became concerned and I was like, uh, I need to get more serious. It became a financial thing for me, which I know is probably where most of you guys are. Nobody joins a company because they're just having fun. Maybe or maybe you're like me. Maybe it was just a fun, but my why did change to, I really need to make the income. I really do. I need to do this. And so I did, I started leaning in, but I also went back to work for the military in the government as a civilian, no longer in uniform, because that was mentally, that was always what we were supposed to do. So I did, I did that for a year. And I hated it. <laughs> not the people, not the mission, none of that. It, they were still great, but I had changed. Over that year, um, being with Park Lane, I realized that, gosh, I've changed a lot. And I realized that I wanted to see what I could do betting on Tommy. I was so used to 
betting on everyone else and and mm. being a leader and doing all the things that the military had told me to do and then moving from that working in a job and doing what they told me to do and and I wanted to see what could Tommy do so last year um well not even a year ago um I don't know, seven, eight months ago, I decided to completely leave the job and bet on myself. And the other reason was, is that my why, like I told you guys, I have one son. He graduated from high school. By that point, he was going to school um, at a, a very expensive private university. So I, I was very leery of stepping out because I was like, can I do this? Will I be able to pay for this school, make sure that my son is good? Um, and also during that time, I lost a nephew, lost a couple of nephews as well as a niece. So my family needed me in different places and I couldn't do that working a nine to five job as great as the job was as nice as they are people expect for you to be there so to be able to fly to where i'm my hometown because i live in san antonio now it's where i retired from i don't have family here i have um built a family i've built a community but i didn't have family so to be able to go work help my family members and be there while still earning money while still being able to use my phone or be able to uh, connect and work my business at the same time, it was huge for me. For my son to go to school and for uh, during the last few months of his school, while he was still in high school, to be able to go pick him up, us to actually spend time together, that was something I never got to do when I was in the military. I actually got to be a um, a stay-at-home mom while working. <laughs> I actually got to do that and to do it around the things I needed to take care of for him. Those were huge for me, right? And these programs within Park Lane allowed me to do that. I hope, let me know, please let me know if any of this is resonating with you. Please just share, say, yep, Tommy, I've done this. Yep, I've been through that. Um, and it all meant a lot. Like this meant a lot. So we had this. So I've shared with you guys some of the programs. You get a, a commission that never goes down. It never changes. You uh, can come in as a direct appoint program, uh, meaning that you do have that experience. And Park Lane will bring you in based on the level of experience you've already had. And you don't have to start over and prove yourself again and again, right? And you will come in and, and you'll have a business and be able to be instantly viable with it. And free jewelry. I use, I use the jewelry that they give. There's no way I can wear all of this jewelry. And for me, I love to give. So to be able to get this jewelry and then to be able to give it and to share it was huge for me. And I get to be able to use it strategically to run my business right? I use it for my hostesses. I use it as giveaways in parties. And I've used it because I've been able to bring people in and I've been able to share with them as well. Okay. Uh, other team members. I've talked about the Mercedes car program. Once you're in the Mercedes car program, you're never out of the Mercedes car program. Uh, you hit those bonuses and that criteria every month you will get paid that $500. I have not hit it every month. There's been a couple of months I did, but it wasn't a big it wasn't a big deal. It was something that I knew that it had an I had the option to make additional income. There was never ever any pressure when it came to quotas, when it came to hey, you need to do this, you need to be doing this. No, it it just wasn't. It just has never been like that. And then, of course, one of my biggest whys now beyond the income is the trips. I love that. I love being able to know every six months I am going on a paid vacation by Park Lane. And let me tell you, again, being military and I've traveled so, so much. I have. I've been blessed to, to travel more than most. I've been to at least 33, 34 countries, right? But... Y'all, 
Park Lane travels like no other. I like no other. Seriously, we are so well taken care of. And and, and I'm not the, the highest selling person in this entire company or anywhere. When I say if I can do this, you can do this. You really, really can. Um, and you get treated like royalty. They do. They treat you so very well. And it is not for the top tiers of the company. No, it is for everybody. Anyone can earn this. But it just so happens while you're earning the trips, while you're getting the Mercedes car program, while you're getting the additional incomes, all of these kind of feed off each other. You end up promoting. You end up just going higher based on working towards these other things. Regardless of your why, you end up getting these tangible things with it. And um, that's huge. But I want to end with something that's that I consider for me, especially right now in this season, again, of my life, it is really about the non-tangible things. And I wrote down um, a few of those. One is I call my three P's from joining Park Lane. From joining Park Lane, I got these three P's. I found purpose, passion, and peace. I found purpose, passion, and peace. Something I did not, I wasn't even looking for it. And I ended up finding it here from talking about pretty jewelry. And I know you're like, Tommy, come on, you're. <laughs> You're selling jewelry, Tommy, and it's not that serious. No, it was that serious. It, it was because I've already shared. I was going through a lot of mental health issues while working, while leading a team. At that time, listen, I've had over 800 people that work for me at any given time, uh, 1,200 when I was in the desert. I had probably directly reported to me about 30, 40-ish people. Um, at the time that I joined Park Lane and I had to keep everything together. I could not keep it together, but doing this gave me purpose, passion in it, and it gave me peace. The other mm -hmm. thing it gave me, believe it or not, after I just shared that with you, it gave me confidence. Something that having been in the military for almost 23 years doing this, because I did this for me. And me doing this for me ended up spreading to me, end up ending up building a whole nother team that at the time I didn't realize I even wanted or needed. So it taught me how to bet on myself. It taught me that I could do things outside of the military, outside of being a mom, outside of um being a daughter or a sister, all the other competing priorities that were happening in my life, it was something for me. And I was like, yes, Tommy, you can do this. So that was huge. And the other thing it gave me, it gave me this amazing community. Um, I have people, because listen, everybody's not going to make $10,000 a month or $20,000 a month, uh, $5,000, $2,000, or even $1,000, okay? Maybe you're going to make $200, $300. Maybe you'll make $500 a month. And that's life-changing. It really is. Um, but the community and having other uh, women and men who have your back and that they are like there for you, Listen, everything that you need is in this house. Like you don't have to build anything. It's going to be here for you. They're going to say like right now, if it's something that I need, I can say, hey, can somebody do this? Is there this? And it's like, here you go, girl. There you go. Or I'm listen, I'm having a rough day. I'm down. What do you need from us? I lost my Facebook guys in the midst of me leaving my job. Um, and starting over, I completely lost my Facebook. It was hacked and I lost it. And um, it was so hard. I didn't know how I was going to build back. I instantly had people on going, don't worry, we got you. We got you. And they were there for me. And having come from a military background where we are a band of brothers and sisters, it was, it was huge. It was all about we want you to win. It was not a scarcity mindset. It was all about we abundance and we know 
that you can do this. So I'm going to end it there because I know I've been going on and on. I hope that you guys have gotten something out of this. If you are a part of Park Lane and you're still new and you're still trying to find your footing, listen, I promise, give yourself time. Give yourself time, give yourself grace and know that you are not alone. You are here. You are here. You're in the right space and you're with the right team. I promise you that. And if you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know if I want to do this. Girl, boy, let, you have you don't have anything to lose. I always tell people this. The worst case scenario is that you just get a lot of jewelry. <laughs> that is the worst case scenario. The best case scenario is that you're like me. You get a life changing experience that um, now is amazing. And you've gotten a whole new friend. You've gotten a whole new purpose. And it just goes up from here. OK, so I appreciate you guys and uh, I hope that you become a member of our team if you're not already. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.